about three years ago. When I bought it, it looked ridiculous. It looked really ugly. Like most masks, the eyes are stupid. Uh, the paint, it wasn't painted well at all. And so I, I wanted to make it look better. Uh, and I also added uh, eyes. These two eyes were actually eyes for taxidermy lions. No joke. Yeah, you can choose how big the iris is and how big, you know, the outside is, the diameter. And they're awesome. You can use them in all your projects. I have tons of different. It's my first Halloween hack. You know, make, buy some glass eyes, put them in, and then you have to make places to see. I have, I made, I don't know if you can see it, I made some holes in the side of the eyes, on both sides, holes in the nostril. I cut a hole in the mouth. So with all these holes everywhere, I could still see out of the mask, not trip over my own feet or run into anyone. So that, you know, that was, that's an answer to your question. Glass eyes, taxidermy eyes. I can put a link down below. Um, they really help out your costume or any project you're making. Uh, next was really amping it up, making the values come out. I did lengthen the teeth, plumber's putty. I lengthened all of these. I, I made gums. You can see kind of the crevice there. Um, and just made it much more freaky and three-dimensional because that's a problem with masks is they look so flat and so ugly. So, um, yeah, no, I did not make the whole thing. I made parts of it. And the interesting thing is with Halloween, um, you, you think of something you need. Some people think of Halloween months in advance, like me when I was younger. Uh, I would get all my friends together, we would start decorating, and my brother and sisters, we would decorate months in advance. Sometimes, some years, when I was 14, 15, and 16, I would spend like three months just deck, like making a gallows, a hangman's noose, uh, a, a nine-foot mummy, and uh, anything, like it was so much fun. And I think lots of my creative background started with this silly holiday. You know, as, as I was making the, the Halloween costume, I thought of a great idea. I thought of, hey, I should borrow my friend's GoPro. So I called up Ray, said, can I borrow your GoPro? He said, sure. I wanted to take the selfie stick with me so I could actually record people's reactions because it's got a cool function where I can flip around. You can have the camera facing people or flip it back around and have it facing you. But like, I didn't want to be a monkey walking around with a selfie stick. That would kind of defeat the purpose. So I devised, devised this plan to turn the selfie stick into a, a medieval ax. And the way I did that was just with uh, simple paper, paper mache. Because I got the, the selfie stick the day of Halloween, I had to somehow paper mache the whole thing in one day. Back in preschool and kindergarten, we did it with the stupid balloons with little strips of paper and newspaper. That way is ridiculous. Please never use that method again. That method, first of all, it takes so long to dry. Um, and in places that are humid like Taiwan, if you use flour and water, the, the bugs will eat your project within a year. So you, it'll just turn to dust. So it's absolutely ridiculous. Okay, here, here's what the outside looks like. It's Scott Shop Original Multi-Purpose. I buy it in bulk at Costco. If you got Costco near your house, they gotta have it. This stuff's amazing. It's literally like, you know, in the back of the day, your teacher would tell you, oh, you gotta put many layers on there so it's strong. With this, you only need one layer. That's why you can finish it in one day. One layer is gonna keep that together. Okay, I mean, look at this. This is, I mean, I have to pull really hard to break it. Okay, it's heavy duty uh, paper towels. That's what you need. Uh, as for the glue, Elmer's glue works fine. As for the glue in Taiwan, uh, I recommend this stuff from the hardware store. Uh, 3670, they call it Bai Jiao. Cover the entire area you want. This mask was done by Brandon. Um, he's, he's not gonna mind if I help him do a little corner here. 
Um, I'll have to tell him it was for the vlog. He'll be happy his mask got in the vlog. So, put the glue on a section that you want to cover, okay? Tear off your piece of paper, okay? Apply it to the area that you want to cover, okay? Then get your paintbrush and then start pushing it down into the details. If there's areas that don't have so much glue, add a little glue to those areas like that. Get some glue in there and then, you know, push it in. So that's another thing that they taught you to do in grade school was to tear up the paper. <laughs> but really, it's not necessary. If you're using such strong, heavy duty um, paper towels, you can also see as I push in with the brush here, the details are all appearing. So, yeah. No need for, I mean, you don't even have to get your hands dirty. Look at that. The details have all appeared. And voila, that whole section is done that fast. I mean, you could literally, if his nose wasn't so tall, I could have used the whole piece of paper to cover the whole thing. And uh, it would already be done that fast, but I wanna leave some stuff for him to do. Then if, if you want, you could paper mache this side or just cut this off, fold it over, whatever. But that's how easy it is. Glue, paper, glue, done. And if you want to use it today, dry it with a hair dryer. Check this out, let's dry it. No joke, this, this way of doing the paper mache is one day it'll last forever and it's super strong and super easy. And you don't have to do 15 layers and like, you know, wait a week and it gets moldy because it's not all dry and you have to put a fan on it. Trust me, I've been doing paper mache my whole life. And uh, do not use uh, flour and water, trust me. You just use the white glue, Elmer's glue. In America they have Mod Podge. That stuff works really good too. But really, you could just take any object and cover it. This, this skull right here, it was done in a different method that I'll teach you. It's more advanced method. I'll teach you that another day. But this is just uh, uh, putty and glue. You don't even have paper on there because I, I wanted to have the textures uh, in the, from the foam and stuff. So there's different methods, but I'm telling you, if you want to do super strong, durable, and carry it around all day like a Halloween prop, this is, this is the way to go, okay? It, this way, if you use the, the shop, the Scott Shop original paper towels and glue, you're set. Not only will it dry fast, uh, it's super durable and it'll last forever. So, tricks of the trade. Go. Oh, <laughs>